I found out when I tried to find a nice storing solution for all of my loose cartridges that floppy disks usually make a pretty good storage for them. So I bought a few floppy disk cases or whatever, boxes, and I put most of my games in there. Maybe you can see there's an N64 game here and some Super Nintendo games in the back in this one. This one is only Super Nintendo games. This one has my Game Boy, the original Game Boy games and Game Boy Advance games and I think the DS games even. This one is for the Game Gear games and for uh, Neo Geo Pocket Color games. Okay. Up here on the right we have some Atari 2600 games. Uh, the console itself, the 2600, I don't have connected at the moment. I'm using the 7600 instead, which is downwards compatible, which is a good thing, so I don't have to uh, have one more console here lying around, at least not in front of the TV. There are also some 7600 games. Here are some Saturn games, Japanese Saturn games, and I think US maybe as well. Further to the left, we have more Saturn games, PAL versions, in different kinds of packagings. Up here, originally packaged 7800 games, and only two 32x games, at least for now. This is my collection of PAL Mega Drive games, or Genesis, however you want to call it. This is my plush link, tune link. Yes, okay. So uh, here we have a few keychains in my collection N64 co controller, the keys to the uh, floppy boxes, uh, <laughs> blue VMU, one of the many I have which is on a Lixang keychain, which uh, sadly doesn't exist anymore, this store. It was an online store. Another Nintendo keychain with a Goomba. Okay, up here on top of the cupboard, we have a bit of stuff. We have a Pokemon Special Edition Game Boy Color which I never played, it's only here for the collection. We have a very old Pong variant uh, hardware game, which I also hardly use and I haven't connected to the TV because it only works with the RF antenna stuff, but it's still working and it's nice to have it in my collection. Here we have the Game Gear in the original packaging and as you can see, the packaging is in great condition, as is the console itself. Uh, here we have some stuff, some more stuff. Ah, this is one of my Zamba de Amigo kits, which includes the maracas and the, the dancing mat. I guess you can't really call it dancing mat, but it's... It's a complete box, and this is what's interesting. There's one of two, the other one is downstairs. This is a very old uh, Game Boy carrying case, which a very good friend of mine recently gave me out of his not collection, I think out of his basement maybe, in very stylish pinkish color. Okay, here we have one more Game Gear game in its original packaging. I haven't even played that. This is the collection, this is my book collection basically. Like 90 or more of the percent of the books I think I've already read. Mostly Terry Pratchett or sci-fi books. Here we have some more books, 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 books. Also some figurines. We have Jason here, and this is Ivy from Soul Calibur 2, I think it was. This is one of two of my Minas Tirith 
models. And this is one of the Argonas statues. And here we have Gollum and the other Argonas. Those were included with the special extended edition collector's boxes of the Lord of the Ring movies. Lord of the Rings movies. Also have the book set, the Lord of the Rings book set. And down here we have one or two more books and the rest is just comics, different comics. Amazing Spider-Man, uh, it's not Amazing Spider-Man, it's Ultimate Spider-Man. Lobo comics. I love Lobo and it's really hard to get a hold of any of them nowadays. Most of them are already out of print and very hard to find them. Um, the Boys comics which I recently uh, discovered and finished, I also like this. A few more books about Second World War, Star Wars and a few old magazines which I kept basically because they were the, the first issues of a German PC magazine back then when I was still into PC gaming and some more stuff, some Game Boy book, Zelda book, yeah, some of my retro magazines, this isn't my complete collection but these are some, the rest of them are still downstairs, I have to update this soon. This is one of my favorite magazines of all time, maybe. The Retro Gamer magazine, which I have a subscription to. They are from the UK and it's not cheap, but it's definitely worth it because every magazine is really interesting to read. Okay. Is there something else I can show you? Yes, here we go. On the right side of the lounge we have more boxes which are once again filled. This is filled only with Dreamcast stuff, mostly controllers and the versus cable. Downstairs uh, below that another box which is filled with replacement covers for Dreamcast, replacement boxes for Dreamcast, PAL games. Anyone who has a lot of PAL games knows that they can easily, very easily break. And a few more boxes. This one has most of the cables for the retro consoles. Even more Dreamcast controllers because I have a lot of Dreamcast stuff. There's also another Super Nintendo and two Mega Drives in there. And up here even more cables, cables, cables. And some stuff for the original Xbox like this arcade stick here. which is upside down at the moment. It's an arcade stick for the original Xbox and some more stuff like headphones and controllers for the Xbox, stuff like this. Here we have a few of my Super Nintendo games as well. Turtles in Time, Secret of Evermore, Stunt Race, Tiny Toons, Mario Paint and so on, Mortal Kombat 2, F-Zero, Parodius, NBA Jam, which I have here, which are handy if I want to play them. I don't have to go to the floppy disk boxes. And this is the couch I'm usually sitting on when I'm playing. Uh, maybe to get a sense of the room up here, up the floor, I will just do this. So maybe you can see where the ceiling is here. It's above that box, the CD rewriter box, directly above it. So up here we have a height to the ceiling of about one meter and 40 centimeters, I think, which is enough to sit down and to play, but not enough to, to like walk around for longer times. But that's okay. It's cozy up here, for me at least. Some people who are afraid of heights don't really like it, but I'm sorry, this is the only place where I can store all of my stuff. Okay, so I think this is it for now. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to post them in the comment section. And I hope I'll see you soon. 
the boxes over here, by the way, the cardboard boxes, they are just filled with some stuff uh, which didn't fit anywhere else in my room. And I just have to store it for the moment at least. I have to store it here. Okay, I think that's it. Thanks for your time. Hope you enjoyed the video and see you next time.